I have a Samsung Galaxy S20 here. I'm going to give you guys several solutions. If you have an issue where it's rebooting maybe once every hour, maybe three times a day, maybe three times per hour. So the first thing is make sure you don't have a magnet back here. If you have a case on it or like one of those, if you have any kind of magnet or anything like that on the back of your um, S20 here, go ahead and take it off, okay? Next thing I want you to do is go ahead and do a, see if there's an update, software update. So just scroll up on the phone like that. We're going to go to settings here. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to scroll all the way down to where it says software update. Tap on software update and then tap on download and install. And if there is an update, go ahead and install it. If it's not, we're going to go to the next step, all right? Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're, just, we're going to force it to restart. And how do you do a force restart? You won't lose any data or anything like that, okay? You're just forcing it to restart. We're going to go ahead and press the volume down and power button. Press and hold both, up, both buttons at the same time. Wait till the Samsung logo, then let go, okay? We'll, we'll do this together. Volume down, power button. Ready? One, two, three. Press and hold. Do not let go. Just keep holding until we see the Samsung logo. I'm still holding on both buttons. I'm still holding. I'm not going to let go until I see that Samsung logo appear. Still holding. Still holding. Come on. There it is. Go ahead and let go. Now, wait for it to boot back up. Now, the thing you want to do is go along your day, see if it reboots at all, okay? If it doesn't reboot in a day or a couple days, then you're good to go. However, if you're, it's still rebooting, then we're going to go to the fourth step here. So the fourth step here is what we're going to do is we're going to go into your settings. And we've got to make sure that auto restart is turned off. So just go ahead and slide up again. We're going to go into settings here. And then from here, you want to scroll down and go all the way down to device care. Here's device care right here. Tap on that. Top right-hand side is three dots. Tap on that. And then you want to tap on advanced. Now it says auto restart here. Make sure auto restart is off. Okay? If it was on, then that's probably why your phone was constantly restarting. However, if it was already toggled off, then we're going to go to the next step. So the next step here, what we're going to do is we're going to wipe the cache partition. That deletes temporary internet, internet files, basically files that you don't even really need anyway, okay? How you do that? First thing is we got to go ahead and turn off the phone. So volume down, power button. Press and hold both buttons at the same time until the uh, power off menu pops up. Now go ahead and tap on power off and then power off. You may have to put your password in to turn it off. We're going to wait till the phone is completely off. Okay, it's completely off now. So now what we're going to do in order for us to wipe the cache partition with the phone off, now we've got to press and hold two buttons again. And this time it's going to be the power button and volume up. Not the volume down, the volume up. And we'll do this together. Phone is off, power button here, volume up here. Press and hold at the same time until we see the Samsung logo, then we can let go, okay? Power button, volume up. Ready? One, two, three. Press and hold both buttons. Do not let go. There's the uh, Samsung logo, and I go ahead and let go, and this will boot us into the Android recovery menu, and then from there we will be able to do, uh, and we'll be able to wipe the cache partition. So if you look on here now, what you want to do is to scroll up and down. You simply use the volume rockers. Okay, you can go up or down. What we want to do is we want to go down to where it says wipe cache partition. Okay, to select it, simply go ahead and tap on your power button. And now this is basically saying, are you sure you want to do this? It cannot be undone. We're going to go down and highlight yes, volume rocker down. Don't worry, the only thing you lose is the temporary internet files, files that you basically don't even need anyway, okay? It's always good to clear out your temporary inter internet files every like two weeks, a month, or two months, just, just to make sure that your um, phone stays up to par, okay? Anyways, it's on yes. I'm going to tap the power button here. We're going to look down here. It says uh, wipe cache partition complete. Perfect. Now, if we look up here, we're on where it says reboot system now. So simply just go ahead and tap the power button just to reboot. Now go ahead and test your phone out. Give it a day or two days. See if it restarts, okay? If it doesn't, then great. If it does, then we're going to go to the next step. So the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to boot into safe mode, okay? So how you boot into safe mode, it's going to be the volume down, power button. Press and hold both buttons until we bring up the power off menu again. So volume down, power button. Press and hold. Power off menu is here. Now what we're going to do is press and hold power off, just like that, and now tap on safe mode. Let me go ahead and put my password in, and this is going to reboot, and it's going to boot us into safe mode. We will know that we're in safe mode when the safe mode 
on the bottom when it says safe mode down here on the bottom left left hand side. Now the thing is, now the reason why your phone is restarting, it could be because of a bad app that you downloaded. Okay, so we're gonna go into safe mode here, and then basically what you want to do is you want to go on like another day or so. I uh, try to go on another day, or if you want to at this point, just go ahead and download the latest app that you downloaded when you started having these reboot issues, okay? So we're in safe mode right now. And then, I mean, ideally what you wanna do is stay in safe mode and see if it's rebooting, okay? But the thing is, is it's most likely, your uh, re restarting process may be like random, you know? Like one hour, it may be three times, and then it doesn't do it for a day. Anyways, what you wanna do is try to stay in a safe mode as long as you can, and hopefully, if it doesn't do the actual uh, restart or rebooting or anything like that, then it's one of your apps that's rogue. So what you got to do is just go into the app that, uh, you know, the latest app that you download it, you know, press and hold it. And then there should be a uninstall option on there and you can go ahead and uninstall it. And then to get out of safe mode, you just simply, you can just reboot your phone. So if you press, bring up the power off menu again, and we just restart, this is going to go ahead and just restart it back up into the normal uh, OS. And more times than not, it's definitely an app that is causing your system, your uh, phone to constantly be rebooting. And sometimes, I mean, it could, sometimes it's even like a WhatsApp. The WhatsApp can actually do that too. And sometimes, for instance, if it is the WhatsApp like I had before, what you do is you just uninstall it and then you realize that that was the problem, but then you go ahead and reinstall WhatsApp again and then it's still, it never uh, restarts again, okay? Anyways, so for the last option I have for you, it's an option that uh, you probably don't want to do, but it's a factory reset, okay? Doing a factory reset, you will lose everything on your phone as if you just bought the phone brand new and took it out of the box. So if you want to go ahead and proceed with the factory reset, very, very simple. Log into your phone. You just want to swipe up, tap on settings. Then you want to go to general management right here. You want to tap on reset. And then factory data reset is right here. And don't forget... Once you do this, guys, you will lose everything, and it'll be as if you bought the phone brand new. Once it's done with the factory reset, you're going to start off at the setup process where you had to, you have to choose your language and your Wi-Fi, then put your Wi-Fi password in. Anyways, let me know what step worked for you guys. If you guys still have issues, and still have issues, just comment below and let me know. All right. If it worked for you, give me a thumbs up. If it didn't, give me a thumbs down. See you in the next one.